Yo guys, what is going on? I am George and this is You Wanna Watch. Welcome back to another Sunday Tool Market Haul. Hope you enjoy what I got. I say we jump right into it. Let's go. Alright guys, well we're going to go over this real quick. I got two totes. I got one tote full of sockets, the other tote full of wrenches, and then I got some oddball stuff. Um, let's go take a look and see what we got real quick. All right, so right here, this whole, basically it's like a cake pan or a baking dish or something. Um, this was all full of water and stuff like that. And uh, all these impacts were in there. So this guy had a whole table of sockets and I was just grabbing little containers and throwing them in there. And um, I don't even really know what I got in there and I don't even really know what I got in here. Um, I paid 20 bucks for this and I paid 12 bucks for this. So uh, we'll hold off on this stuff for a minute. All right, let's start right here. The wife found a antique three-in-one oil glass bottle. Um, I'm, I'm totally stoked about this. I'm gonna spray this at the end of the video with a, uh, a clear coat so we can preserve this label as much as possible so hang in there for that I got two horseshoes today quite happy to find them um, I can't read a maker or anything on this one but this one I can totally read and this one's a diamond I don't know if that's gonna show up hopefully it will so that's pretty cool that'll go in my diamond caulk and horseshoe display so that's that quite happy to have that got this sweet plum wooden handle blue line there in the middle uh, I would say this is a number three but it is definitely a plum so Totally excited to get this. This is pretty cool. Um, the wife found the SK little nut drive. You'd stick, you know, your Phillips bit or slot it or whatever in there and have at it. There's no bits in it because there's no end on it, but hey, it's the thought that counts, right? I picked this little ratcheting. It's like a multi-tool of screwdrivers. I usually just find them and it's the, you know, the pop-in one where, you know, it's either standard or uh, Phillips. But uh, yeah, I found this today. I thought it was pretty cool. I paid two bucks for it. I was happy to find it. And then a couple of tables down from that, I found it in the original box and paid two bucks for it. So I think this guy ripped me off. Anyway, this one's the red-handled one, but it's the same exact thing. Pretty stoked to find that. Doesn't look like this thing was ever very used either. So, nice little ratcheting. That's pretty cool. I like finding stuff like this, especially in the original box. So... Awesome, awesome. Quite happy to have that. And the cream of the crop, as far as I'm concerned, is this Stanley Sweetheart level. I am so excited to get restoring this. I paid two bucks for this and I couldn't get the money out of my pants fast enough. So, oh man, I love this thing. I don't see these too often. And when I do, they're usually broken. So, awesome, awesome. I'm so psyched to have this. So, that's all my good finds for today. Now my bulk buy, I guess we'll go through the wrenches first. So what I think I'll do is um, shut this off and... Uh, I'll sort them all out and figure out what we got, okay? So hang on a minute. 
All right, so this is all the oddball stuff, stuff that I would never keep, um, ever craft. Um, just weird stuff. Just chrome vanadium. This one is a Mastercraft. Um, but yeah, that's all stuff that I'm that I'm not gonna keep. So, all right. So we didn't do too bad for spending twelve bucks. Um, we've got us a fairly respectable, fairly respectable pile of Craftsman here. Um, nothing really awesome, but. Uh, you know, some decent craftsmen in there. Surprisingly, we got a bunch of Bonnie. Um, it's kind of weird. Uh, this one has got me a little baffled. It's, uh, it says Bonnie Khan, but it's got three diamonds, like the Utica. Kind of odd. Rob, if you're watching, let me know what that's about. Um, got two Huskies, got a nice fleet, this is a three quarter and five eighths, the thing's brand spanking now, I don't think that, I don't think it was ever used, and uh, a Blackhawk, so, know who that's going to go to, got a nice Proto Los Angeles, this is a one and an eighth and one and a sixteenth, that's pretty awesome. I found me a wizard. And with the wizard, dog bone. I got me a couple of actions. Quite happy to have found these. This will grow towards my collection of action. Um, an industrial. One Williams, one Thorson. Um, oh, that's a craftsman. Oh, and I think the cream of the crop. JC Penny, baby. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, not bad for twelve bucks. I really can't complain. Um. So I guess let me put these all away and. Uh, we will go to the sockets next. What do you guys think? Sound good? All right, so we got that all sorted out finally. So this is what we're left with. Quarter of a tray full of just garbage. Um, this pile over here this is all impact drive. I can't read a name. Of course, it's all rusty, stuff like that. Even if it's China or, you know, whatever. I don't really care because I don't have any impact drives. So I think that's pretty cool. So what I'll do is eventually clean these all up, get them on a uh, socket rail, and, uh, you know, I'll just have these as some impact drives. I don't use impact drives too often, so... You know, I don't really need nothing spectacular. Um, sorry about the camera work today, guys. All right, so back here, we got us a pretty cool little collection. This is all fleet. Got about 12 sockets here that are all fleet. We've got, uh, what are these, Cornwell. Two sockets of Cornwell. Uh, this is Husky right here, this little bit, maybe 10, 12 sockets and a half inch to three quarter inch extension. So that's all Husky there. Some oddball stuff here in the middle. This is a Thorson, uh, oh, two Thorsons. We got a... Industrial, a Mac, a Snap-on, it's pretty cool, got a Proto, 
Got two action. That's awesome. These action will go in my in my little collection. I collect action, so got one SK that'll go in my SK bin and one Williams that'll go in my bin. The big pile all that right there. This is all Craftsman. Every single bit of it. So that was quite a lot of Craftsman in there. You know, and for paying $20 for that baking dish or bacon thing, whatever the hell that was, um, I think we came out way on top. So not a bad haul today. I'm quite happy. Um, I personally think the best finds of today would have to be the little ratcheting screwdriver in the original box. The Stanley Sweetheart level. I'm totally excited about this. And my wife's big find of the day, the three-in-one oil in the glass bottle. Super, super excited about this. So. I say we get to throw in a uh, clear coat on this real quick. Give me a second, I'll get all this cleaned up and we'll get at it. Just to make sure it stays sealed on there. Because I don't want this thing peeling up. All right, guys. Well, here it is. I'm quite happy with that. That label is going to be on there forever now. And, uh, yeah, I'm just excited. So, sweet. All right, guys. Well, we're all done with this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like always, stay safe. Be safe. We'll see you next week with another video. Bye.